Hello people, in this video we are looking at Park's classification for Eno fistula. Okay, so basically fistula means what guys? There is a, there is an, an abnormal connection between two surfaces which have, epi, which are epithelium lined and there is some granulation tissue etc. So this is a fistula. Okay, so two epithelium lined surfaces, there is an abnormal connection. This is fistula. Okay, anal fistula means it is involving the anus. Okay. So, uh, what is anus? So, what you see below here, <clears throat> this is the anus. Okay. This is your anus and it has sphincters. <clears throat> so, it has the internal sphincter and the external sphincter. <clears throat> Can you see this one is marked as internal anal sphincter and outside you have the, I mean, uh, outside that you have the external anal sphincter. So, so, two sphincters are there, right? Internal and external, they are for the anus. Rectum is something that con connects the colon to the anus. Okay. So the sphincters are for the anus. Okay. What are you seeing here? These lines inside. What are those? You can see the labelings here. Pectinate line, anal sinus, anal column, etc. See here, the inside the anus, they are calling it as pectin. Okay. So now that you have understood um, what internal sphincter is, external sphincter is, this classification for you uh, will be very very easy, anal fistula classification. So first of all, you have intersphincteric, that is between your external and internal sphincter. So which is that one here? <clears throat> Let's take red and mark it. So here you can see it's starting here in the anal, anal fistula, right? It's starting there and it's coming between the internal and external sphincter and it's opening very close to the uh, anus. This is very common. Okay. This is the most common one. 45% of those fistulas. So this is intersphincteric. Okay. Intersphincteric. Where is it opening? I mean, uh, it is uh, coming from the anus between the two sphincters, right? And it is opening here around the anus. This is intersphincteric. Intersphincteric means what? Between the sphincters. So dentate line it begins at, they are saying that is nothing but pectinate line. Okay. Pectinate line or dentate line. Is the same thing. So it is beginning there. Somewhere there it is beginning here at the dentate or pectinate line. And it is going between the sphincters and it is opening near the anus. Okay. So this is the most common one. So uh, intersphincteric, they do not cross the external sphincter. They are within the external sphincter if you see here. That much information is enough now. That is the most common one. 45%. Okay. Now let's go to the second one here. Transphincteric. Okay. Let's go to transphincteric. So uh, transphincteric, where do you see? Let's mark it. Starting somewhere here near the pectinate line. It's crossing the internal and the external sphincter and it's opening a little away from the anus, right? So this is transphincteric. This is Parks type 2. So this is 40% of the people can have this. The primary tract that crosses both internal and external sphincters, okay? And external sphincter, how much it will cross is variable kind of a thing. Then it passes through the ischiorectal fossa to reach the skin of the buttock. So this yellow thing, whatever you're seeing here, this fat here, that is ischiorectal fossa, it is going through that and it is opening where? Buttock skin. Okay. So that's what we have written here. If you want to see the notes, notes is there here down. So starts here, de depectinate line across the internal and external sphincter is ischiorectal fossa buttock away from uh, buttock skin away from anus that's what you have to know okay next it is supraspinctric let's go to supraspinctric okay let's mark it where the supraspinctric here is our supraspinctric again same place only it's starting pectinate it's going between the two sphincters it's going above the two sphincters so supraspinctric and then it is crossing the levator ani and coming down so it's going all around the world. Okay. So this is supraspinctric. This is goes uh, from the pectinate line, goes goes up and then comes down. Okay. This is supraspinctric. This is actually rare. And um, they think that this is because of iatrogenic. So doctor caused it, is it? So anyways, now this is supraspinctric <clears throat> going above both the sphincters. We got it. Now let's go to the fourth one here. Extra sphincteric. Extra, extra sphincteric. Okay. So extra sphincteric means um, it's not at all near the sphincters, extra sphincter. It's beginning at the rectum, okay, not at the anus. And then it's coming out, crossing the levator and eye, not at all concerned about the sphincters and just opening out, right, in the buttock skin. So this is extra sphincter. There is no relationship to the sphincters at all, okay. And this usually they are saying is from pelvic disease or trauma, okay. That's it guys. So in this video, you have learned a park lands, park, parks classification, not land, park classification of anal fistula. Okay. There is one more um, 
classification this is standard classification standard classification nobody is using looks like subcutaneous this one is subcutaneous that is just below your epidermis and dermis subcutaneous that's one <clears throat> two is submucosa mucosa means what it will need mucosa right not skin so it is some mucus lining so obviously it's in the rectum you can see low anal low anal what does low anal tell you it's kind of in the anus at the bottom high anal in the anus at the top I mean around that okay pelvirectal pelvirectal is just like our extra sphincter not bothered about the anus at all right not used much guys sub standard classification what you should know for exam is parks classification draw this diagram in the exam you'll get very good marks okay it's really easy to draw just we'll try it okay see draw a nice rectum and anus middle just some lines like this so easy then one muscle all the way along it that will become our internal sphincter and one like this external sphincter with levator and i <coughs> levator and i and this will be a external sphincter so easy <coughs> and then you draw the fistulas you'll get marks just one more thing we'll cover <coughs> there is something called as direct and indirect if the opening is anterior <coughs> then it will be direct and if the opening is posterior it will be indirectly approaching okay this is good sal's rule predict the course of a fistula track if it's anterior they are saying that mostly it will be direct fistula posterior it will go here and there and then reach but don't think that this is perfect okay it can be wrong at times so just this is just a small rule to just help you 